Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. If you're new to the channel, this is a segment called Are You Out From Here? I'm gonna show you a layout on the pool table. I'm gonna show you how I run the balls out, give you some tips so that when you see these layouts again, you'll be familiar with them and you'll pick up a couple shots from this. Also, after I show you the diagram, let's set up the table first. After I show you the diagram, if you wanna try it before you actually watch me shoot it to see how I did it, you can always pause the video and then come back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the seven ball and the nine ball on these diamonds here. The four ball we're going to put just about, let's say a half a diamond off of this rail. Our cue ball is gonna be just about at the one diamond, one diamond mark here. We have our, the two's not in there. We're gonna have our six is going to be down here on the rail and we're gonna put our five, not quite in the center of the table, but maybe a little bit uh, further of the center of the table. And I'm gonna walk you through this because there are a couple shots to be learned here. The first one is one of my favorite shots in pool. Getting from the four to the five. If you watch the channel, if you know about pool, you've heard us talk about moving in line with the shot. And guys tell me all the time, Brian, I don't have a chance to move in line with the shot. I know what you're talking about. I see it in the videos, but I never have the chance. What we mean when we say moving in line with the shot is if I want to get on this five ball and I send my cue ball across the path of the five, that's not moving in line with the shot. But if I want to play the five there, which is what I want to do because my six is there, moving in line with the shot means coming this way. Well, how do you do that? If you're on this four ball, you play this, it's low right hand English, and come off of these two rails and give yourself a line on this five ball. So that shot looks like this. So now I hit it really soft, but you can see I'm totally lined up with the five. I didn't risk covering or crossing this line. So now I make the five ball. This is a long straight shot, it's almost straight in. So I'm gonna hold my cue ball up so I have an angle on the six. You do not want to get totally straight on this six ball. So you see I have an angle on the six ball. The reason I want to have that angle is because what? I have to get down table for these two balls. This can be handled a number of different ways here. You could play this with high left and come off of two rails but I don't want to do that because it's going to put me a little bit down to this end and I'd rather be in this zone for a reason you'll see in a second. So I'm going to play this with high right and straighten the ball out a little bit. So now I'm right in that center of the table where I want it to be and I can shoot this with high right hand English. This is one of the three rail shots I teach you guys in all the videos. We come off of here, here and here. We're automatic on the nine ball. Looks like this. The spin is what moves us around the table. You see how soft I hit that? We come up here, we have a straight in shot on the nine. I know you guys worry about scratching. We know where that ball's going. And it's a wrap. So that's how we run it out. It's that easy, guys. That was the first try on this shot. Now, I gave my students this layout, so I've been looking at it all week and teaching it, but this is not a difficult layout. Once you know a couple shots, the four ball, that low right hand English, moves you right in line with this ball, that shot comes up, if not in every rack of eight ball, probably at least one out of every two or three. So you've got to have that shot. Getting on the five and leaving yourself an angle on the six, even intermediate players, I see them getting way too straight on balls that are on the rail. Now, I made a video recently that teaches you how to handle the, the situation when both balls are on the rail, the cue ball and the object ball, but it's not where you want to be. And then the three rail position shot coming around to get on that nine ball, you've got to have that in your game. I know a lot of you advanced players may have defaulted in your mind to shooting a draw shot on that seven, to come back out here to play the nine, which is a legitimate way to play that, unless you are truly afraid of coming around and scratching in this side pocket. But if you play as many three rail shots as I do, 
you almost know exactly where that cue ball is going to go. So that's the way I played it. Hope you give it a try. I think a lot of you guys can pull it off. Thanks for watching. Check out this video. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.